in today's video, five tarot tips. Tip number one, don't ask other people in tarot groups or anywhere to interpret your spread. Don't be like, I got these three cards, I'm actually holding four cards there, what do they mean? Instead, approach it like, if you were, say you were to post on Facebook a spread that you got of three cards, tell the group, the tarot group you're in, how you interpreted them. And then other people will say what they think about how you got to that point. You'll have to think about how you got to that point and they'll say their interpretation, which is kind of what you wanted in the first place, but it does it in a much more meaningful way. Just showing your cards to someone and seeing what they think completely takes out the context of the situation. You've got to have context when reading tarot most of the time. Number two, don't make buying a deck a blockage. There's lots of different pretty tarot decks. There is not one right one for you now. And if there is a right one, okay, then maybe you'll get there after your fifth card, after your ninth deck of cards. You don't have to commit to one deck of cards for your entire life. People approach it like this. If you get a ride away at Smith and don't like it, you can, you know, you might have to save up a little bit, but usually they're around about um, $15 or something like that. Um, which I know that everyone doesn't have the expense of, but you can get another deck at some point. Maybe it be one a year. A lot of people get into buying them one every month. There's decks of cards that I've had for years and I've only just started using. There's, there's a little bit of breaking in time. You might not like it. And I'll tell you what, here's an exercise. If you're currently using that as a blockage to start, because people come and say, I'd love to start Harrow, but I don't know which deck to buy. If you haven't decided by the end of today, by a Rider Waite Smith. Easy to read, it's beautiful, it's classic. You might end up not liking it. Well, you can get another one. You could even swap it with someone maybe, but there's your route in. Tip number three, you can read from day one. There's gonna be people telling you that you have to take their course, you have to do such and such, you have to get such and such. There's no governing body in tarot, okay? Every, a lot of people do it their own way. Even the, you know, even the main religions are decentralized. Of course, tarot is, there's no, there's no centralized system saying you can read tarot, you can't. If someone tells you you shouldn't be reading it, tell them to call the tarot police. If you're being ethical, and I've got videos on that, and I'm sure other people have videos on that, you can watch theirs instead of mine, of course, then you can read. Have fun with it as well. Number four, there's gonna be people telling you that you're doing it wrong. These people, will probably tell you that you're doing it wrong on Twitter. These people spend time telling teenagers on TikTok that they're doing it wrong. So if you don't respect someone as a person, you wouldn't seek out them for guidance. Why are you taking criticism of them? There's gatekeepers in every community. They're kind of a necessary evil, maybe, sociology-wise. Believe me, you'll come across them. Of course, you could keep yourself to yourself, but they're going to find a way to you anyway. There's going to be people that criticize uh, the questions that you ask. There's going to be people that tell you that you're asking stupid questions. Do not worry about asking questions. There's plenty of good communities across the internet. They're all going to have the gatekeepers. You know, I'd like to say get used to it, but you, you don't have to get used to it. You have to learn who to trust for advice. Number five, take your deck everywhere to bond, to practice, to read, to keep on a table next to you in a bar so someone that's had too much wine asks you for a reading and you spend some time reading with them. One of the hardest things to do is to get used to this, you know, to not be surprised when you pull something like that. Oh gosh, what does it mean? Get used to the pictures. That sounds like, that sounds so trivial, but you don't want a picture to show up on the cards and you'd be like, I've never seen that before. If you want to get better with a Rubik's Cube, you take it everywhere. If you want to get better at these things, take them everywhere. If you have your own tarot tips, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, like and subscribe. I don't usually say that, but give it a try. Namaste.